This is a safe spring. When a patient is not cooperating, we will use a safe spring instead of an elastic. In this case, a class three. The closed coils can be used for the intra-maxillary mechanics in the orthodontist control. But for class two or class three, if the patient does not wear the elastics, then we use a safe spring. Typically, you will not have the wire and the coil when you, when you purchase the safe spring on either end. Instead, you will use an O12 Kobayashi hook wire to attach to the molar and the cuspid brackets. We will need to bend the molar hook out to allow engagement of one end of the safe spring. The wire will now be threaded underneath the bracket and the wire. And ligated around the loop or in some cases just around the cuspid bracket. Which one of course depends on the mechanics that you would like to do at that time on that particular case. Forces on a safe spring can be on the high side, usually 10 to 12 ounces. This amount of force, of course, will cause like frequent breakage of brackets and band on cementation. Many patients will complain about the safe spring, and it is therefore like undesirable to use in all cases, but it can be helpful in overcoming patient cooperation problems. I have had like, several adolescent patients that do prefer a safe spring over an elastic, merely because they do not have to do anything during the treatment month. A patient will have to eat with a safe spring in place, and it would seem to be rather cumbersome for that process, but I usually do not get many complaints in this regard. On this case, I was, I was unable to gain attachment to the molar. And so a Kobayashi ligature wire was used to place around the, the molar headgear tube. The hook was also bent in place with a band pusher. As the patient functions, of course the force will change as well as the direction of force.
Now we'll do the other side. This time starting with the lower cuspid. On some patients, because of the, the gingival hypertrophy, it is difficult to attain the threading underneath the arch wire with a heavy lig ligature wire. These short ligature wires that used to be provided with the safe springs were almost as annoying as not having anything, anything supplied because they were so short. I would much prefer the longer, the longer Kobayashi tie. Keep in mind that the force associated with a safe spring is very heavy. There is a new generation of nickel titanium safe springs that will probably take the place of these stainless steel springs. Again, use a band pusher to secure the spring around the molar tube and check the occlusion. In this case, she was biting on the attachment. You can see how with lateral excursions that you would find there, there would be like frequent bracket debonding during the month that the safe springs are in place.